Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Turn your King James Bibles to Judges chapter 10. We're going to continue. Judges, uh, it's an interesting book. Shows all the failures and a few victories of the Lord's people. So let's go to Judges chapter 10, verse 1. And after Abimelech, there arose to defend Israel, Tola, the son of Pua, the son of Dodo, a man of Issachar, Char, Issachar and he dwelt in Shamir in Mount Ephraim. And he judged Israel twenty and three years, and he died and was buried in Shamir. And after him arose Jair, a Gileadite, and judged Israel twenty and two years. And he had thirty sons, thirty sons, that rose on thirty ass colts, and they had thirty cities, which are called Havoth Jair unto this day, which are in the land of Gilead. Thirty sons. Man, he must have been busy, huh? I can't imagine that many kids. I knew a family that had 12 kids. And the mother kind of went a little cuckoo, if you ask me. I think I'd have been 30 kids. I, Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't imagine. And Jair died and was buried in Camon. Yeah, here we go. Verse 6. I keep telling you, 6 is a bad number in the Bible. You know, 666, six, six, Genesis 6, where the sons of God, the, the, the angels, and if you don't believe that, go to Job 38. Sons of God shouted for joy at the foundation of the earth. Adam didn't come until six days after the earth was created. So the sons of God have got to be angels. Got to be. You know, so anything, it, it seems like anything associated with six in the Bible is not good. I mean, it's just patterns. Verse 6, And the children of Israel did evil, did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and served Balaam, which is just another, you know, it's uh, just a generic word for Lord, you know, Satan is Lord, and Ashtaroth, um, Ashtaroth is the goddess, the queen of heaven. You can read about her in Jeremiah, or... Uh, you can listen to some of her names. She's called Ishtar uh, and uh, Easter. Yeah, yeah, you know, the Easter bunny and the Easter eggs. The goddess. Easter is a noun, a proper name for a goddess. The queen of heaven. And... Uh, Another name for her would be the Shekinah, S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H. I'm not sure if there's alternate spellings of that, but that's how I've looked at it. And there are those that will claim that's the Holy Spirit, the, the glory of God, uh, the Queen of Heaven, the Holy Spirit as a female. Uh, yeah, there's people that teach that. Ashtaroth, the queen of heaven. Uh, I don't think so. So when your kids on an Easter Sunday are looking for eggs, Easter eggs, just remember they're the goddess, the queen of heaven. You know, that's why I have such a hard time attending a 501c3 church i won't do it i i just there's no sense in it you can't you cannot reform babylon 
You can't do it. It can't be done. You might be able to pull a couple of people out of the fire, but that's that's about it. That's why I do what I do. So Ashroth, the queen of heaven, the goddess, Easter, Shekinah. I'm telling you people, if you ever hear the Shekinah come out of the mouth of anyone, especially, especially the Messianics, run. Don't walk. Don't, don't walk away. Run away as fast as you can. They're devils. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam and Ashtaroth and the gods, plural, gods, plural, of Syria and the gods of Zidon and the gods of Moab and the gods of the children of Ammon and the gods of the Philistines. Who are the Philistines? Well, some of the Philistines were giants. Goliath was a Philistine. Yeah, you know, the giants, the, the guys with uh, six fingers and six toes that the churches want you to think that uh, believing men married unbelieving women and then they had giants for children with six fingers and six toes. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Believing men marrying unbelieving women don't have children that are giants with six fingers and six toes. It doesn't work like that. But you go to your modern demon nominational church and that's that's what they'll tell you. That's what they'll teach you. And if you start asking too many questions, they'll change the subject. And if you stick with it, they'll tell you that, well, you know, you're divisive. You, you got to leave. Trust me, I know these things. And the gods of the Philistines and speaking of Israel, and forsook the Lord and served not him. So the children of Israel did evil. They served the devil. They served the goddess. They forsook the Lord and they didn't serve him. Verse 7. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he sold them into the hands of the Philistines and into the hands of the children of Ammon. Remember, the, some of the Philistines were giants. Oh, yeah. And that year they vexed and oppressed the children of Israel. Eighteen years, all the children of Israel that were on the other side of Jordan in the land of the Amorites, which is in Gilead. Moreover, the children of Ammon passed over Jordan to fight also against Judah and against Benjamin and against the house of Ephraim, so that Israel was sore distressed. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. They cried unto the Lord, saying, We have sinned against thee, both because we have forsaken our God and also served Balaam. And the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Did not I deliver you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites and from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines, the Zidonians also, and the Amalekites and the Moanites did oppress you? And ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. I've had it with you people. You don't want to be my people. I, I, you know, I give up. Verse 14. Well, that's the Bob translation. Verse 14. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. You don't have victory against your enemies in the war. You don't have any rain for your crops. There's no grass for your livestock because there's no rain. Go cry to the God of the church of Satan, the one that you chose. Go cry to them. Go cry to the, your gods. Don't call me. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, your trouble. 
And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, these are the three words that God loves to hear the most. We have sinned. We have sinned. And you better not be bragging. You ought to be on your hands and knees saying, we have sinned. And turn from that. You know, um, I remember one time I went to a, a, an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Somebody invited me to go with them. And, uh, you know, I think, I think there was some, I'm not sure if the, some people that were in Narcotics Anonymous were also there. I'm not sure. It's been a long time. But uh, it seemed like to some people it was a bragging session. Like, oh, yeah, I used to be able to drink a whole gallon of, you know, fifth of scotch. It's like, uh, are you complaining or are you bragging? It sounded more like bragging. You know, so, I don't know. When you say we have sinned, the Lord wants you to turn away from the path you were on. You know, make a U-turn, go the other way. We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee this day. And they put away the strange gods from among them and served the Lord. And his soul, the Lord, and his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. See, that's what America and the Europe need to do. We need to put away the strange gods that are among our people. Do you know that on the books, on the books in the United States, Islam is illegal. Do you know that? Did you know that? Yeah. In England, the United Kingdom, you know what the most number one name for baby boys is? Muhammad. What does that tell you? Muhammad. The Church of Satan has chaplains in the army, well, I don't know about the army, but in the military, and in the jails. What do they do? Oh, well, hey, just be yourself. You know, that's, do, do what thou wilt. That shall be the whole of the law. You know, do whatever you want to do. That's their motto. God wants us to put away the strange gods from among us. But uh, I don't foresee that happening anytime in the near future. Do you know there was a, uh, during the Constitutional Convention, uh, when the United States was forming its own independent government from Britain, do you know that there was a proposal for a constitutional amendment to ban... Uh, well, just like Islam was to be banned in the United States, they were going to ban, believe it or not, Judaism. There was going to be a constitutional amendment banning that in the United States. And guess what? It failed by one vote. One vote. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to make this a Christian country. But uh, no, we got to have freedom of religion. Hey, if you want to be a witch or a wizard or a Satanist, you know, may your God bless you. Not the God of the Bible, not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, not, uh-uh. No. In verse 16, and they put away the strange gods from among them and served the Lord, and his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. People, this is going to come again. This is going to happen again. There, 
it's go it's coming I, I see it I don't claim to be a prophet but it's coming but there's only going to be a remnant this time then the children of Ammon were gathered together and encamped in Gilead, and the children of Israel assembled themselves together and encamped in Mizpah. And the people and the princes of Gilead said one to another, What man is he that will begin to fight against the children of Ammon? He shall be head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. And that, everybody, is the end of chapter 10. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.